What's up guys, Jake Kastak here, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about the top five tricks for anyone who is a beginner kiteboarder. Okay, let's talk about riding toe side. Right now I'm riding heel side, pretty much our normal riding position. And then the kite's still pulling me along because it's nice and windy. And when you feel ready, you're going to switch to your toes. Boom. Now we're riding toe side. And my weight's pretty equal on both feet, slightly more on my back foot, and obviously quite a bit more on my toes. But that's it. Now we're riding toe side. Pretty straightforward. Borrow to speed up, borrow to slow down, and then we can slide it back around and we'll be riding heel side. And here's another angle, so cruising along on my heels, switch to toe side, and I can pull the bar in to kind of keep my speed up and also point to the kite a little bit because when you first try toe side you're going to find that it's going to be hard to keep your speed up but the more you do it the easier it will get. So that's riding toe side. And next up we have carving turns. Ooh la la, killing it drizzle. So basically we're combining riding toe side with a heel side carving turn. So we're cruising along, boom boom boom, we switch to toe side. And now we're just going to turn our kite and lock our heels. And this allows us to create a big old spray. So yeah, this is a great way to add a bit of flair to turning around. Okay, next up we have popping and front side 180s. So we are going to be using our board and our kite to pop us up, just like that. So key thing is to load a very hard edge, quick hard edge, sheet the kite in, and before you know it, you're getting a bit of air time. There we go. And then this can be combined with a front side 180, which basically means you're going to be loading, popping, and then landing toe side. So here we go, cruising along, gets a nice speed. It helps if you can actually find a wave. So let's see what we got. Loading up, load, pop, boom, land toe side. And then this could obviously lead into a big carving turn. Basically there are a lot of grabs. Today I'm just going to touch on a few of the basic ones. But if you want to find out more about grabs, I'll link pretty much all the grabs that exist in the description below. So feel free to check that out. But for now, let's jump into a few of the beginner grabs. So the first grab I'm going to talk about is a nose grab. So we're going to be using our front hand, grabbing the front tip of our board. Then we have a melon grab, which is again our front hand, and we're going to grab the heel side of our board in between our legs. That was a melon grab. Then we have tail grabs, which is backhand, tail of our board. So coming in, pop, backhand, grabbing the tail of our board. We've got Dre coming in with a big ol' melon front side 180. The cool thing with grabs is they can be added to pretty much any trick. And once you get them dialed, you can start doing fun things like double grab to blind. So yeah, grabs are a great way to start having a lot more fun on the water. Okay guys, let's talk about jumping and air transitions. Basically, whenever you're leaving the water using your kite, it's all about getting the timing right. Okay, with jumps, it's all about the kite. You're gonna be cruising along like you normally would, and you're gonna start loading up your board by edging up in, and then shooting the kite up to 12, or a little bit past 12 at the same time. Pull the bar in, and this is what will launch you up into the air, and then you're just gonna kinda hover your kite around 12 o'clock. As you start to land, you simply dive the kite down, land, and you would've hopefully landed a perfect jump. It takes a little while to get the timing perfect, but yeah. That's roughly how you launch a jump. Okay, so the main difference between a jump and an air transition is that with an air transition, your goal is to jump straight up and change direction versus with a normal jump where you jump up and forward. 
To do that, what you're going to do is basically try and kill most of your speed when you load up your air transition. And by the time you load and pop, your kite is basically up at 12 or a little bit over to 1. And then as you start to land your air transition, you simply dive it down to the other side and you would have landed a perfect air transition. Air transition is super fun because you can do stuff like this, coming in, boom, boom, boom. What? Double grab air transition. As you can see, you can apply it to all sorts of different terrain. So yeah, air transitions are one of my favorite tricks to do. All right, guys, hopefully this video helps you understand a few ways of having a lot more fun when you're out in the water. If this video helped, feel free to leave a like and also leave a comment of what you'd like to learn next. And yeah, subscribe just so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Big ups.